Okay, so as far as Dalek building goes, this is uh, quite exciting, I suppose. Uh, that I've actually got my um, fixie batten hemisphere mechanism to work. So basically, um, got a bag full of hemispheres here, which I've finished, and they're all nice and shiny because I've realised it's better to paint them on the inside. And I basically glued them to some CDs. Uh, with some glue gun, and I've got a whole bag of them, and I'm going to stick them all around the inside of my skirt. Now, what I've done to do that is to have loads of these battens made out of aluminium, and they're, they're kind of quite, as you can see, they're kind of shaped for sturdiness, so they are quite strong. You, know, you can hardly, you know, hardly bend them, really, they're very strong. So, I decided that may be the best thing to uh, to hold on a row of hemispheres in one go without having to glue the whole lot in. So this is really just what I've done is I've got a batten inside there um, holding up my hemispheres and it's held in with a fly nut. If I don't know if you can just see that. There's the fly nut there. Um, and that's it. So I'm quite chuffed with that. Uh, it's lightweight um, and seems to work. So you know they're not they're not coming off, and they're quite sturdy. I mean, I was thinking about putting some some wood blocks up here and, and down the bottom just to stop them moving at all. And, but to be honest, I may not even have to do that. I don't know yet. I don't think so. Maybe later on. I won't really know until I've got the whole thing built, uh, and then I do some test runs with it around the car park and just see what falls off and see what breaks off when kids start poking stuff at exhibitions. But although there's a bit of give in the top one and the bottom one, it's besides that um, they're secure. So I'm quite happy with that. Um, so if I do need to fix them or replace them, I can just quickly undo the bolt here and just basically, um, you know, replace them fairly quickly. Uh, so I'm going to do that with all of them now. I'm going to drill holes all around the mid section and put in my bolts. And once the whole thing's painted um, Battleship Grey or Genesis Grey, um, the bolts aren't going to be so noticeable anyway, uh, unless you're a real Dalek building anorak who might jump up and down at the horror of what I'm doing, but I'm not quite sure of a better way of doing it really without spending tons of money. So here's all my battens I've topped up. Um, basically I've had to number a bunch of them uh, to correspond with the lengths of skirt panels. Each skirt panel is um, slightly different shapes. Um, so say, for example, uh, panel six and panel, panel five are, are different lengths. So you have to make the battens uh, to correspond to the lengths as they go on the inside of the, the skirt. So I've had a number of few of them. But basically I've, I've realized that I only need just to, to number four of these battens. Uh, just to go around the front, the front uh, four panels. Um, so basically, you know, uh, panel seven is going to have a button. That's the right length to to go there. And all the rest of them that go around the back are, the, are pretty much all the same length. So I don't really have to bother numbering all these ones because they're all going to be exactly the same length as as this one here. And basically, I'll just have those on the inside all the way around. The only other problem I've got is the wheel, is the chair, sorry. Um, the construction, Andy's construction basically has, he's got this these wooden posts that support the chair, which is all well and good, but it kind of interferes with getting the hemispheres inside the... Um, the skirt so there's no way I can get 
I can get it in there, but I, I can't get it in there. I think his original idea was to have um, bolt-ons, like here. So he'd have a, he's got a hole there already, so I, I assume he was going to have a hemisphere with no flange and it would basically bolt onto the front of that. Um, but I'm thinking maybe for my own purposes it might be just easier if I just um, just remove these posts and just get thinner pieces of um, wood that will do the same job, but then I can get my, can get my hemispheres in with little trouble. Um, because uh, and it also reduces the weight. I mean, that's another thing is that these posts weigh quite a lot. And since I'm adding weight to the Dalek with with all the hemispheres and nuts and bolts, um, you know, these posts are gonna. I don't really need them. I could just have some thinner pieces of wood doing the same job, but they're just as strong and not as heavy. And that's the the main problem with a wooden Dalek is trying to keep the weight down. So uh, I'm just going to keep carrying on for the next few hours, drilling holes and sticking buttons in and try to get all these hemispheres put in place by the end of this session. Fingers crossed.